Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Well, let's do the coronavirus update first here today. few things. Number one, at this point, John Moxley still has not gotten a positive coronavirus test. He's been taking tests, and there's still results yet to come. But as of this moment, he has not had a positive test. Rene is feeling a lot better, and that's the update on the two of them. I guess we'll see what happens. It's going to be very interesting because let's say that Moxley gets test results back today or tomorrow, and they're negative, okay? So are they going to want him at AEW on Wednesday? Are they going to want him there for Fighter Fest? I don't know. And it's it's interesting because... I thought for sure that there's no way this guy is not getting coronavirus. I mean, he was hanging out with his wife who had it. I mean, how could he not get it? They're in the same house or hanging out together. You know, he was advised you should probably, you know, go to a hotel and and quarantine yourself there. But he didn't want to leave her, so he stayed at home. Like, how could he not get it? But so far, he's not gotten a positive test back yet. But, I mean, when was the last time they were in close contact? I mean, apparently they're they're in different places in the house right now, but whenever they were in close contact last, I mean, that should be like the beginning of two weeks, right? Because it can take up to two weeks for you to test positive. So there's no way he should be there Wednesday, right? What about the following Wednesday? I don't know the answers to these questions, but that's where they are at at this moment. WWE did, in fact, tape Raw this past Saturday, so there is a Raw show for Monday, and I'm sure that what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to watch Raw, and they're going to say, okay, well, who was there last week, and who wasn't there this week? Because the people who aren't there on Monday are likely either people who failed, or people who decided, screw this, I'm not doing TV for a little while. And what I can tell you about the... there's a Okay, so SmackDown aired Friday... And the same thing happened. Everybody watched SmackDown. They said, well, this person was on last week. They're not on this week. This person was on last week. They're not on this week. A lot of people started making these lists. I'm not going to read the names here, okay? If, if you really care, like you can go find the lists on the internet. You can watch the show yourself. And you can see who was there and who wasn't there. All I can tell you is that when I looked at the list of people that weren't there, there are names on that list that were interviewed by Renee last week. There are names on that list that were in the ring with Jamie Noble, who also tested positive. And there are names on that list that are either friends or they travel together. I guess if you travel together, you're probably friends. But there are, there are people that they hang out together. And this list... All I can tell you about the various lists out there is that I have no idea if they all failed. I have no idea if none of them failed. I have no idea if some of them failed. But I, I can say one thing, that on the various lists, there is one name that I am 99.99999% sure failed. Because I heard from a couple of people that this person failed. But WWE... They do not want anybody getting their results out. There were a few people originally that went public. Uh, Jamie Noble, Adam Pierce, Renee, obviously. And I don't know about everybody, but I mean, I know that, that uh, Renee apparently was, was... They were not happy that she went public with it. So I presume they weren't happy with anybody, but I don't know that. But anyway, after those people went public, nobody has gone public. So we may not ever get a confirmed list of the people who have failed. But I'm I'm virtually certain that there is at least one, could be all of them for all I know, but at least one on that list apparently tested positive. And I guess everyone's going to do the same thing for Raw tomorrow, so there you go. Kayla Braxton went public as well. Those are the four that went public. Renee, Kayla, Adam Pierce, and Jamie Noble. So that's the update. Oh, actually, there's more update before we go to Mike. Wednesday, uh, here's the plan. So, you know, a lot of places, a lot of places, one person tests positive and they shut the place down.
They do the the deep clean. They don't let anybody come back for a week or two. Not WWE. There have been multiple positive tests, and they're just they're just barreling forward. I mean, they taped SmackDown on Friday. They taped Raw on Saturday. Wednesday, July 1st, they will be taping both weeks of the Great American Bash. Thursday, July 2nd, they will tape the July 3rd and 10th SmackDown, plus 205 Live. And Friday, July 3rd, the July 6th and 10th episodes of Raw will be filmed, plus WWE Main Event and Raw Talk. So basically, I mean, they will have taken Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off after this outbreak. And by the way, after the outbreak, they ran two TVs before they're taking three days off. So that's where we're at right now. That's your update. Why are they just not taping the rest of the month then in these next three upcoming days? I mean, I guess that's having supreme confidence that there's going to be no scaling back anymore in Florida than what's already been uh, lamely done, I guess, to try to, to, to stop some of their massive COVID outbreaks, which good luck there. I, I don't... This is all kind of crazy. Uh, it's been crazy. The the numbers that came out last week, the the rumors of people talking to other people. I mean, I I just what can you really say? I mean, what, I don't know what I could really add to this. They're taping this week. Uh, they are upset. And look, if this was all about HIPAA, I could see being upset that there are names getting out, and you wouldn't want this to reflect back upon you that you know that somebody is leaking HIPAA information because this is you know people's like health you know that that's fair. But the problem is with WWE, it's like you just don't want people to tell because you want to act like this stuff doesn't exist. And there is the big difference between WWE and almost everybody else, whether it be AEW or UFC, even places that have flaunted the rules and have done whatever they basically they've wanted they have still tried to at least act as though that they have some responsibility in all of this where wwe has had none and it, let me ask you i don't i don't know if this is renee young pregnant by chance did that come out at all is, is she pregnant because i have I'm not, not mistaken, heard that at all Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I thought Tahuti Miles or somebody that tested positive said, "Well, I have a, I'm trying to get up with Moxley," and uh, and, and I could be wrong about this uh, as far as who the name was, because I'm positive or I'm positive, and my wife is is pregnant too, and I saw that Renee has got some some announcement coming on Wednesday. I don't know if that ties in together, but it's just a reminder, even if it's not true, to stop for a second and think. Who else are you infecting possibly by doing this? Forget about, you're talking about older people dropping dead and you, the fact that, you know, the, think about what Jim said on Friday about people who have lung conditions. Think about people who are pregnant, who, which everything affects them, you know, or everything has the possibility of affecting them or the fetus. I just, this is so irresponsible. And the fact that they have been so brazen and so, cowardly about everything where they are getting upset at talent for information getting out i mean for heaven's sakes kayla braxton is the first person anywhere and granted there this may not be true but the first person to announce that she's had it twice out of everybody i've, I've ever heard say that they've had covid virus patrick ewing whoever kayla in the wwe universe in their snow globe in their little bubble she's announced she's gotten it twice i mean if that shouldn't give you some pause there I don't know what would, but nothing is giving them pause, and they're you know going and barreling on like normal. Again, I don't know what you can really say about this other than we're going to have just more names that are going to continue to come up over months and months and months. All right, so a couple of other notes here, uh, and then we'll go to break. Velveteen Dream, released from the hospital following a car accident. Further details about the accident have not been revealed Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful was first to report the news, saying Dream, Patrick Clark, was released from the hospital on June 26. Dave Meltzer confirmed the report. News comes as new accounts of sexual misconduct allegations have surfaced involving Velveteen Dream and underage minors during the hashtag Speaking Out movement. Neither Dream nor WWE have commented on the allegations. Dream did not appear on this week's episode of NXT, though he was included in the commercial that aired for NXT's Great American Bash. More 